This webcam is the best alternative to the Ausbot Mini. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to our video and this is your host, your and only Guyver. Welcome to Tech Cool Video. And today, we're going to take a look deeper into the Lux DC07, which at the first very few seconds of this video, I said that it is the best alternative for the Ausbot Mini. Now, if you are the type of person who is living under the rock, the Osbot Mini is a webcam that has a AI tracking feature, meaning that wherever you go, the webcam will follow. Sounds familiar. I think we already did a review to that kind of product, which you can find here or here somewhere above my head. So yeah. Now, before we proceed to the nitty gritty part, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. And guys, we're almost at 3.5K and so close. To 5k so what you need to do is to hit that subscribe button so you'll get notified every time that i'm going to release a video and who knows maybe there's another giveaway once we reach 5k by the end of this year now this webcam is nothing very much special in terms of features it has a 1080p it has an hdr it has a 30 frames per second and it is a wide lens it has a field of view of a fish lens but you'll see later but what i can tell you is that this webcam can hit up to 50 hertz or 50 frames if you would say but it is being advertised only for 30 fps so what comes in the box is the unit itself a remote control and a mini mini tripod in case you don't want it to mount on your monitor or laptop now the remote is very very special because it controls the webcams to your preference of course it has its limitation but then again it's a nice to have. Now, without further ado, let's proceed to the actual stuff. Now, the first thing that you'll be seeing is the webcam under a studio lighting setup just like this without my fill light that is located over here. So you will see that it is quite okay and it is doable and do take note that it is still in the default setting. Now, in this scene, I turn on the room light and you can see that it is a little bit better per se if we're talking about webcam quality it really jumps another level in my preference but some of you might want the cinematic style of only having the key light but in this webcam it looks great now the next one is just within the room light basically the webcam is only getting its slicers from the top of my head which is the room light Next is the monitor light and also guys I'm using a laptop so please bear with me. So this is a big no-no, don't even try it. But you know, in case you want to do some hanky panky with your partner, it's gonna work. Now let's replace the studio light or my softbox to a basic ring light and this is the quality that you'll be getting. The room light is off. Now I didn't turn on the room light on this section because well it's just going to look like the same one with the studio light and the room light. Now I know that the colors, the brightness, and the exposure is a little bit off, so I tweak it a little, and these are the settings that I can share to you which you can mimic so you can have a quality that looks like this. Now for me, this is a better looking situation, but you can still go with the default one, especially with the studio light and room light scene, as it is kind of perfect. It has its color and stuff, but for me, I just want it to be a little bit faded and not too bright and also if, if your softbox or your ring light or your key light is controllable in terms of you can dim it and you can you can just adjust the brightness then it's much better it's, it's gonna give you a much better result than the one that i have because i'm stuck with one light fitness now let's talk about the other functionality of this webcam now this webcam can follow you from left to right Apparently, it can only do pan left and pan right and there's a little bit of delay when trying to find its subject and also you can notice that it doesn't jerk but it doesn't go back to its place when the subject goes into center. So that's the point of the remote why you need it. Now speaking of the remote, let's talk about its functions. Now the up and down button is for dimming and heightening the brightness. The left and right is for you to manually pan your camera to the left and to the right obviously and the center button is in case you forgot to which level of lighting or brightness you are then you can just click it and it's gonna revert back now the last three buttons in the remote is the very far left would be the shut off cam it's for for example there is someone or something that you notice and you want to you know quickly fix it and you don't want the viewer or the person you are talking to see it you can just click it and it's poof, no view at all 
On the button in the middle is your AI tracking feature. You toggle it to switch the AI tracking on and off. And the last button is for mirror. So self-explanatory, just gonna flip the image and it might look good, it might not. It might not look good. It might look bad based on your preference. So it's really up to you. Now, last but not the least, and I'm pretty sure this is something that you guys are waiting for is the microphone quality. So the settings will be down on the screen. So, okay, this mic test, um, negative 3.5 dB in OBS, mic test 1, 2, 3. So basically an arm length um, from the webcam to my mouth. Mic test, this is sound quality. Also, there's a fan that is blowing under the desk. So take that into, into consideration. So mic test, one, two, three. So what do you guys think? Me personally, one thing that I didn't like about this webcam is the fish eye effect. And I'm a little bit too, what do you call that, too close in terms of the field of view. So that's another thing compared to the favorite webcam of this channel, which is the Red Dragon. Um, but one thing that I can assure you with this is the settings will be kept even if you close OBS. I'm not sure if you unplug it, but of course, if you're going to use a webcam, you're not going to unplug it anytime soon. So that's one thing. But I might be sticking with my Red Dragon in this case or scenario or time. But who knows, I might use this in case I create a podcast. I think this is a good thing if you, if you want to do a podcast on a budget. We might try to do that very very soon. So yeah. So anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do, press thumbs up and consider yourself subscribing for more videos like this. Once again, this is me Guyver signing off. Bye!